So, we're currently doing our stream. It's very, very nice, very, very fun. People have been asking me, mm, what should we do in regards to the garage door? What should we do to approach this? Like, what's the best way, the most effective way? And I've just had a follower. Thank you very much. That is it, Crix. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. So, um, what is going on? What should we do? What's the most effective way that you can profit from this if you want to buy them out? So... This is currently the most uh, bought out skin so far this week. It seems to be the skin that's getting most of the attention, of course, with most of the sales. Uh, everything else is just a bit, it's just not really selling that much. So this is getting a whole lot of attention. And if you've seen it in game, very nice art style. Mr. Slimeface, you did a very good job here. Very, very cool looking glow in the dark garage door. But we've had quite a lot of garage doors come out fairly recently this year. In fact, how many have we had so far this year? Let's just go take a look real quickly. And it's not just regular garage doors. I'm talking in terms of glow-in-the-dark garage doors as well. So let's just go take a real good look at that. I realise I should probably be on the discussion section, so that's just a bit better. So we've had one, two, three, four, five, six... Nine garage door skins so far this year. And that's not too bad. That's like, on average, one a month. But in the past two months... We've had one, two, three, four. So we've seen like one garage door appear every two weeks. And they're all glow in the dark. Now, what are we immediately seeing here? We're seeing only one, two in the positive. Why are these two in the positive in comparison to the likes of the spray can garage door that only recently came out like uh, two weeks ago? Yep, two weeks ago. Bombshell garage door that we were fairly hyped up for. Why is that down in price? Remember, the first thing I do is always just take a nice quick look and see how many of them on the Steam market. So Toxic Dragon Garage Doors seems to be fairly... It's only down by 9%. It's not looking too bad. There's only 95 on the market. So let me just point this out. The average amount that I would expect to see for a Rust skin on the Steam market would be around 100, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. But that seems to be a perfect balance. Now, what you also got to keep an eye on is how much support does it have. Over here, I can see the buy orders going all the way up to around almost $2.70. And I see the prices over here with not a huge wall, no high quantity. So that's looking good. So there's not much resistance here. And the buy orders do help it up to this point. But how much did this sell? for $3.49 so unfortunately it's kind of gone below its rust door price and as time goes on so uh, what's the date currently right now the 27th of September we are probably going to start seeing the pattern the usual yearly pattern where prices tend to go down a fair bit as we enter the fall autumn season so I wouldn't be surprised if more of these sell at a cheaper price and then we have the CSGO major appearing in no uh, late October throughout November time. So that's very likely going to cause some prices to go down as well. People liquidating to put money towards CSGO. We also might have another CSGO major at some point, most likely towards the end of November, early December. So people are going to liquidate put their money towards uh, CSGO again. And then we also have the winter and Christmas sale. So that's going to be another thing where people sell their Rust skins and then put that money towards uh, Steam to get cheap Steam games. So there's a lot of things in, 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 that are about to happen that are very likely going to badly affect the prices of skins. However, as we know the routine, when it's post-Christmas, the very second, it's December 26th, prices usually always increase very, very nicely. So... I have mentioned this before. Maybe you want to sell your skins, get loads of money, wait until November time, see the prices start going down fairly low, you know, and then attack. Buy them when they're at their cheapest, wait until post-Christmas time, so towards the end of December, then sell. So towards the end of December into the first week or two in January, perfect time to sell. Because that's usually when the prices sell for their highest prices. And that's wonderful. As you've seen in my long-term investing video, I hope, Rust Economy 101, long-term investing and Christmas momentum. Um, it's the best time, the best uh, time to get the optimal um, profits. So, yes, I wouldn't be surprised if this slips down even further. But from what I can see, there's only about 5, 10, 14, 15. There's about 20. So out of almost 100, 20% 20 are below its Rust door price. This very easily could shoot all the way back up in price when times are good. Look at all of this. It's just one, 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 two, one, 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 three, one, 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 one. There's no quantities to cause resistance. No big fat walls. That's that's perfectly fine. 
But what's happened recently with the likes of Bombshell Garage Door? So with Bombshell Garage Door, which is right here, ta-da, we looked at this and we thought, okay, so this is special. It's got see-through mesh. It looks very nice, very helpful, because you can quickly peek around outside and see if someone's trying to door camp you. It's helpful. It also glows in the dark. That's also a benefit to some people. It depends who you are. So right now, this has almost 500 quantity on the Steam market. Where did that come from? And it is weird, because in comparison, like, so this only sold almost 23,000 sales. Tiger Garage Door sold over 32,000 sales at $3.49, a higher price. Yet for some strange reason, Tiger Garage Door only has 134 in the market. Huh. Right. It's weird, isn't it? So I did talk about this before. I believe the reason why we got so many people listing theirs is because when this first became marketable, there was a group of people trying to keep the price above $5, trying to make it seem more valuable than what it actually was. And people noticed, and the very second that they were able to sell theirs, they, they went for the option and they started to unload their stock and put it on the market. And because of this group of individuals, more and more people listed theirs, and suddenly we've got maybe 100, 200, maybe 300 quantity. And when loads of people start seeing higher and higher quantities, they think by default, oh no, it's doomed, it's going to be over, it's clearly oversaturated, and then people start to panic sale and whatnot. Not everybody has an extension like I do, where I can see all the way down here. And here's the silly thing. So this has almost 500 quantity, right? But this, like, no resistance. Yeah, you got a 9 there, you got a 12 there, you got a 10 there. But that's not, like, 100 quantity. No, that's not, like, massive resistance. This looks perfectly reasonable. It's weird. And here's the other thing. If you scroll all the way down... You can see that the vast majority of the stock, 365, are selling above $4.50. What? Wait, what? What? So, yeah, it might be down in price now, but I think people have overreacted because they cannot see, and I'll turn it off, they can't click the, the button like I can, and they can't see, they can only see that there's 500 on the market, and that they see a 9 and a 13, they think, oh god, there's probably a 70 here, and a 100 here, oh no, oh no, and they've probably panic sold, they've probably unloaded their stock and run away. So what's likely going to happen in the future? Because it's so thin, I wouldn't be surprised by the time we, we're back in the positive times, the uh, post-Christmas era, we're probably going to see this steadily rise up in price and maybe go above $4, maybe maybe even $5. Because the the vast majority of the stock is above $4.50. So that's just a weird bit of trickery. Whereas when you see the uh, Tiger Garage door, when you see around 100 quantity at $4, you think, you know what, that's a whole lot more balanced, it's a whole lot more stable, that looks good. That looks fine. That seems perfectly reasonable. And it's also a very awesome looking door. So let's just give it that as well. Good job. Good job. So what do we do now in regards to the Atomic Garage door? So one extra thing I just wanted to point out. Don't worry, that's the giveaway night bot. I've had this happen to me. I've gone and, I've gone and bought all of these for about uh, $2.10, $2.20. Not the best thing, but I know I have the faith that I'm very likely going to be able to sell these for maybe double the price in a good, what, two and a half months, three months maybe, January time, yeah? I reckon that could happen. And that's why I'm not too worried. Now, I did remove my buy order when I still had 10 more bombshell garage doors. I was, I was fine to take what I got there. I got like 40 bombshell garage doors at a cheaper price. So I bought these for like $2.20 instead of buying them for $2.99. Keep that in mind. So what's happened very, very recently, this is, so this is where we start talking about how we're going to approach the atomic garage door. We had the spray can garage door come out, and that looks cool. And how many spray can garage doors did we have sell? Barely almost 16,000, so just under 16,000, yet it's already down by 32%. It's already down by 32%. What on earth is going on? There's only 63 on the market. Why are people immediately... Selling them at very low prices. Well, the uh, the support just wasn't there. Or rather, 
it disappeared fairly quickly because I was actually the guy with the highest buy order not too long ago. I had like a $1.90 buy order and I bought 30 of them. And that's how I approached the spray can garage door because I looked at this and I thought, you know what? It didn't sell that much, but it does look very cool. It glows in the dark. It's a very nice design. I wouldn't be surprised if in the long term that's going to rise up in price very, very nicely. And... Lo and behold, I bought 30 of them at a cheaper price. I didn't buy these for $2.49. I bought them for $1.90 something. I saved about 60 cents per each one I bought. And that means it's going to be a whole lot easier in the future to sell them for a profit. Sound good? And I've bought them at a cheaper price, so I spent less money to get a decent amount. That's what I'm going to suggest to you in regards to approaching this atomic garage door because it's sold almost 23,000. So far, we've got another two days to go. So, because um, it's Tuesday at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if this t does 25,000. Uh, sorry, I'm talking too quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if this sells for like 25,000 quantity, even above. So, I'm, I'm expecting around 25,000 sales. I am not going to be surprised if this goes below its rust door price. I'm not going to be surprised if it goes down by 20 or 30%. But I've seen instances like this before where a garage door will be like this. And in November last year, I saw some instances. So last year, I remember seeing the likes of the going deep garage door being pretty bad. The molten visage door being pretty bad, like I can see right here. But when it was post-Christmas time, what, price did this, what prices did these sell for? Let's go find out. So post-Christmas time, what price did you sell for? Oh, look, you sold for around $4 a piece. Yeah, this sold for like $4 each. This went back up and this became a profit. And what price did I buy those for on buy order? I bought them for like $2, $2.30. Because I knew how this routine was going to be. And then I sold them and made a very decent profit. I believe I still own quite a batch of them as well. So, But yeah, this is something that happens regularly. And in this instance, with four glow-in-the-dark garage doors coming out very frequently recently, it wouldn't surprise me if this just isn't going to do very nicely immediately. It wouldn't surprise me if this suffers in the short term. And now I want to show you something in contrast to the bombshell garage door. What happens when there's just not that much quantity on the steam market? So this is weird. Reinforced garage door. It sold 16,000, right? That's not... That's like regular amounts. That's fine. But how come there's hardly any quantity on the steam market? There's only 37 and because there's hardly any quantity on the Steam market, it's now selling for around $3 a piece. It's looking very, very nice. It's in a very comfortable position. And the buy orders are starting to increase with its price. With low quantity comes with increasing prices because there's a lot less of them in circulation. And the prices on the Steam market, the buy orders start rising up with it. It starts to support that higher price. But it's weird because this kind of like, when did it come? out it came out in august so literally about four five weeks so about five six weeks ago sixteen thousand. but for some reason there's just not that many on the market so what likely could happen from here is people notice and they start selling theirs or people just hoarding them and waiting until um until uh christmas time post christmas time so I, I I don't know, but it's weird, and that's something to keep an eye out for. So it, when a skin has a lot of quantity, it suffers like this. When it has a perfectly balanced or below average quantity in the steam market, it flourishes quite nicely. So guys, I hope I've given you a good understanding for how to approach this garage door. You probably don't want to buy any, but you can just buy order. Keep a night. So this is abnormal. This is an abnormal skin as well. We can use that to our advantage. So when we do our buy orders on, well, depending where you are in the world, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, when we do our buy orders, you can probably wait and see what everybody else has done a buy order at, and then you could, you could put down the highest buy order. Because I wouldn't be surprised if there's a big gap between $2 and $2.49. $2.49 being its price it's currently selling for. So you could just do the strongest buy order and then wait it out and see what happens. And much like what happened to me, I did a very decent buy order on the bombshell garage door. And after about oh, 
uh, a few weeks, so what, four weeks? Yeah, because it came out towards the end of August. After four weeks, I've now bought a whole bunch of them at a much cheaper price. And with the expected CSGO Major and Winter Sale about to appear that we expect to cause prices to go down, well, there you go. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes below its rust or price. It sells below $2.49. And you know what? With the current streak of things, we're probably going to see some more garage door skins appearing as well. So it might lose its thunder. But post Christmas time, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes above $3, $4 maybe. Yeah. So buy them for $2, try and sell them for $4 towards the end of December. Simple. So I hope that was easy to understand. And uh, yeah. Use SMM to the best that you can and you can make a much better approach with it. Sorry if it was a bit of a ramble, but you know, I'm sure you know how to approach that now. So best of luck to everybody and uh, 